Hey everybody, today's video is sponsored by Skillshare.com. Now, a lot of expertise in this world and a lot of people that are very good at stuff, especially on like America's Got Talent. Where did you learn to juggle? Where did you learn to do this? A lot of people just say YouTube. And that's a very common thing nowadays that a lot of people are not going to school to learn their skills. They are actually learning it from the internet. Skillshare has over 15,000 classes to pick from on a wide variety of subjects from art to cooking to digital marketing. You name it if you're interested even in video production or podcasting. Uh, if you're interested in it, they've got classes and you can learn the way people like to learn nowadays. Skip the fluff, learn what you need. There's a link in the description of this video. The first 200 people to sign up will get a free two month subscription. It's actually really cheap. Uh, the website's only $10 a month. And if you have a skill to share, you can also make money off the website by making videos, posting them up there, and other people can learn your trade through your videos and you'll get paid to do so. So check it out. Again, link in the description. Now to today's video. What's up everybody? Rob Spaghetti here and we are taking a road trip and when I say we, I mean me and Jimbo, baby. We're heading up to New Hampshire. Uh, I hinted in previous videos that I've got a new car I arranged to purchase and I can afford to buy it with what's in this envelope. So you can do the math. It's not going to be uh, anything too exciting, but I'll leave a little bit of surprise and it is something worth driving five hours and 44 minutes to pick up. So I've got essentially a 12 hour round trip up to New Hampshire from New York to scoop this baby up. And while we're up there, maybe we'll look for some scenic driving roads. So about to cross over the soon to be new Tappan Zee Bridge and the road trip starts. Right now. with road tripping is like in Europe you can go anywhere and get a decent espresso here we have gas stations Wendy's McDonald's it all sucks so my go-to is five-hour energy and believe it or not they don't even have this stuff in Europe which is amazing to me but get another three hours and 26 minutes of driving uh, it's nice to actually see cars during the day not nighttime but we're gonna do nighttime and I'm not gonna fall asleep I haven't seen the car in like 10 minutes to go in this direction. So I got about two hours of my five hour energy shot left in me. And that's good because we're almost there. We're about 20 minutes out. Uh, this road that we were just on for the last 140 miles so empty. I've never been on a more desolate road. And then I start thinking like, well, once we crossed out of like a freaking major city in Connecticut, Hartford or whatever the hell it was, there's nothing up here. There's like, there's literally like, there's Burlington and there's like Portland, Maine. Everything else is like two stories high or lower. So there's no reason to be up here. So we are just on this like glorious highway, unfortunately driving an F-150. Uh, but it would have been really nice to be on that in a fun car and tomorrow I will be So uh, I'm sort of excited it sort of sucks to pick up a car in the dark because you miss stuff But I'm not driving up here anyway and walking out empty-handed. So the transaction is going to take place We'll see what we get. Uh, I'll give you a little sneak peek when we get there of what the actual vehicle is Okay, you know what? Let's do the magic of editing and fast forward right now and show you what car it is What'd you do? I just thumped the deer. Literally, like the deer came over the hood. Like I don't. Like I sort of want to see if he's okay. 
But like, no joke, hold on, like we gotta look at this. Like barely anything. It, this got pushed in a little bit. You see the hairs from the deer? But like, I mean the damage is virtually non-existent, but I like literally, he's like rolling around on the ground. Holy, I got this car, it wasn't even, it was a half Two a minutes. mile ago. And I just thumped the deer. That's the first time I've ever hit a deer. So that was exciting. So I, I bought a BMW M Roadster and I thumped a deer within a mile, not even a mile. They're like we're talking, their house is like right over there. I could yell and they'll be like, oh, you guys still there? They're not gonna believe it. I'm gonna text them right now though. I just wanted to get a little better look. So I, I think I gotta tell this story again, just cause like we have light here. So I just bought this car, BMW M Roadster, 2,000, 94,000 miles. We, we had to turn off, we're up in New Hampshire, and I had to turn off the paved road, so to speak, to go to this dude's house. So like the last two blocks before this guy's house were like nice, hard, compact dirt. So we get the car, I got Jimbo on the camera here, he's behind me. Don't have any dash cams running or anything like that, which you need to have a dash cam running whenever you drive. We're up here in New Hampshire where there's like uh, animals and everything like that, which is expected. As soon as, like, within 60 seconds of turning off the road, like turning off this guy's road, the first paved road we get on, not even 15 seconds later, like I have my high beams on since the low car, another car coming in the opposite direction, which is surprising. As this guy gets close to me, we both have our regular beams on, I look to my right and there's a deer, like just like, looking at me and I was like, oh, okay, cool. Next thing you know, it's like, fuck you. And he just jumps right in front of the car. So he got deer, jumped in front of the car. I hit it here where these like, this is like it's snout mark. And it just, Argh! and it rolls over and it's on the ground, like flailing around. I'm like, what the fuck? A, that was my first reaction was what the fuck? B was like, I really hope Jimbo got that on video, which he didn't. Then it scurries off into the woods. So I'm like, Jesus Christ, like I, that was so like, I bought this car within a half, I could have honked the horn and the guy who sold it to me would have heard it. And, ah, oh, Jesus. And like the only damage, now this is where I, I really hate it. I wish I had it on video because the only damage is this. And now luckily, I think Jim was detailed enough to get like the walk around on the car at the house that you're gonna be able to see. There was some deer hair in the car but other than like the snout marks and maybe that's new from an antler or something like that, this fender being pushed in is the only evidence that I have that I just hit a deer. And that's like, I don't want to be selfish here, but that's like YouTube gold. Like guy buys a BMW, boom, within 60 seconds hits a deer. So I'm a little upset. Like well, part of me is like, man, I feel bad for that deer. The other part of me is like, how stupid are these animals? Like it's almost like watching this, like, like National Geographic where it's like charging at me to but like it just boggles my mind it goes the car is going much faster than the deer can possibly go and there's just no rational deer logic that says like yeah let me just step in front of this thing and honestly then we saw a fox on the road then I saw another fox and I saw another deer in the trees then I just saw a raccoon I, somebody's got to tell you like hey here's your car be careful you're about to drive through fucking Jumanji like, that's something that you have to share with somebody who just bought a car. So, that's the story about how I just bought a, a BMW M Roadster and within 60 seconds hit a deer. Daytime, I get to see some stuff that I didn't see before. Just got a bend in it right here. Uh, pretty easy fix. That's a, a big bend, though. Um, 
surveying the actual deer damage. Now that's probably going to be repainted anyway because I took the front plate off. But the actual deer damage, we gapped this light a little bit. This hood's a little pushed in and we broke this marker light. That's, that's probably the most significant thing we did. Uh, and it just doesn't line up perfectly. It's, again, if they're fixing the front bumper, it's not the end of the world. Some of these cars, the 01 and 02 came with the E46 M3 motor, which is about another 100 horsepower, which is nice, but it's not really necessary. And those cars, that's ideally what I was looking for in this color or another color called Estrel Blue. And uh, I ended up going with this one because to me, the extra 100 horsepower didn't really mean anything. Uh, I'm sure it's still fun and we'll find out because we're gonna take it to Mount Washington today But I just wanted to give you an overview uh, I, I don't think we have to make this video too long The clutch needs to be replaced. It's, it's really tight. Uh, I don't know if I'm hoping it'll make it back to New York. It's about six hours and 44 minutes not including Mount Washington we'll cross our fingers and uh, That will have to be another video because I mean I don't want to make this whole thing 22 minutes long. I value your time. Thank you guys for watching. We will catch you next time. Hope you enjoyed this little journey and we're going to cross our fingers and hope this thing with this clutch makes it to six hours and 44 minutes, not including Mount Washington, back home to New York. Stay tuned.